You will always make it as long as you have your why together. Everybody, do me a favor. If you got a pen and piece of paper, write this down. Set the tone. Set the tone, baby. September's here. Set the tone. General managers, leaders, salespeople. Salespeople are leaders. Let's set the tone. Let's set the tone for who we are. I don't care who you are. In 15 minutes, you're going to have the best month of your entire life, guaranteed. And by the way, listen to me. Everybody right now, I don't care where you're at. Last month's over. I don't care how much money you have or you don't have. I want to tell you this. You will always make it as long as you have your why together, why you're here, why you got in, why would you train hard, why would you give it all you got. Everybody be careful of one thing, please. Guys, I have so much confidence, it's insane. And we need massive confidence in this business. Would everybody agree? Yes? Yes? You take away confidence, we're all dead. But listen to me. I have so much confidence, but don't confuse confidence with ego and with, and with cockiness and with like um, a, a fixed mindset. Listen to me, guys. The only way that you can get your family and yourself and fight for your family and take your company to the next level is by physically spending time working on you getting better. Guys, I'm telling you, every man and woman on this call, there's somebody inside of them they haven't met yet. Garen freaking teed. And I'm going to pull. It up. When I made these two decisions that I'm going to share with you guys, I'm going to set the tone for September for all of you. I went from being a salesman, it's called the great separator. I love separating myself from everybody else. I want to be the best in the world, but you don't get there. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time, one bite at a time. Some of us, you're like, dude, this guy's saying he sold 70 to 80 cars a month when he sold. How am I going to sell 70 or 80 cars? I'm at 12. So you count yourself out. The elephant's too big. You can't stick in your mouth. I'm going to show you how to smash everything you've ever wanted and get it fast, okay? Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Do me a favor real quick. Whatever you're doing, stop right now. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, write down my cell phone number, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you need help with, you want to go to the next level, you want to go to the next gear, you want to make more money, I don't care what it is, you need more leads, shoot me a text. Let me know what I can help you with. Let's get back to the video. So this is the great separator right here. Some of you are ahead and some of you are behind. So I don't care who you are, this is for you. I want you to think about this. If you're the number one person, you sold 50 cars last month, this is for you. If you're number zero on the board, you just started, you're struggling, you're like having the worst day of your life, you just lost your best customer, you woke up, you feel like the sun ain't shining, this is for you. And I went from making like eight to 10 grand a month to making 50, 60 grand a month as a salesperson because of these two things. And I'm gonna tell you what changed in my life. So this is the goal. The goal, by the way, follow me, I was taught, it is to be the best every day, Andy. You gotta be the best. And dude, honestly, I wasn't that good. I couldn't speak very good, I stuttered, I didn't believe in myself, I looked in the mirror, I didn't like who I was, I saw a lot of people better than around me, so I didn't really align with any of this stuff. So this message is for all of you. And by the way, listen to me, I have something inside of me that says, I want you to be so good that you make your competition look like amateurs. I want you to be undeniably the best. But let me explain the goal. The goal isn't, isn't to be the best every day. It isn't to be better than your competition. And I know that you're like, Andy, what do you mean? Are you telling our guys not to be better? Listen to me. This is how I changed and grew. And it isn't to beat the people around you, okay? This is the goal. This is the great separator right here. It's to wake up every day, every single day, and be better than yourself yesterday. That's the goal. That's the great separator. So before I keep reading, I want to ask you a question. Are you, this is between you and you, are you getting better every single day? Because if you are, this is the great separator. This is when we're looking up and in six months from now some of you you're doing things that no one ever believed you would do and you're so far along and they're gonna say how did you do it and you're not gonna have the story say well I wanted to be the best you're gonna say dude all I did was get better every day and it was consistent and there was a compound effect and this is how winning gets done 
So I'm going to tell you from somebody that sucked at selling, that didn't have this energy, that didn't believe in themselves, how I smashed everyone was I played by these rules. So for some of you, I keep saying, be the best, be the best, be the best. And then I thought, I thought, dang man, that really wasn't how I became great. I didn't just magically shoot across and become great because I didn't ever see myself being great. But I had a good leader that told me the great separator, Andy, was this. So wake up every single day and be better than yourself. And he goes, listen to me. As long as you know that you did that, don't lie to yourself, man. As long as you know you did that, he's like, eventually you're going to look up and you're going to be number one in all those areas. Because most people can't and won't do it. I want you to decide right now, are we all going to make the decision to do this? Raise your hand if that's you. Secondly, it's how we can make our company a better version of ourselves every day. Every day. From the leaders to the people on the ground to the finance guys to the BDC department. Guys, listen to me. How can we get how can we make our company a better version of ourselves every day? Are you a contributor? Like you're going in and putting energy into the store every day? You're finding tons of reasons why everything is right and you love where you're at? Or are you the person going in with the wrong perspective? And like, what's in it for me? Wah, wah, wah. You know what I mean? Like, like you're just you're just sucking the life out of everybody, right? Look, dude, I used to complain too, man. I didn't like it, and I changed. And listen to me. If you're getting defensive, you know what I'm talking about. All I want you to do is look in the mirror and say, hey, listen, forget about me. Forget about all this for a minute. Think about your immediate family for a minute. I wake up, when I go into, when I wake up in the morning in my house, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and I wake up, it's my job as the leader of my home to bring energy to my wife and my children and my kids and make their life a better life. That's called the good stuff. That's called the good stuff. I bring that to them. I want you to remember this. If you guys practice this at work, what do you think is going to happen? If you practice complaining at work, you're probably going to practice complaining at home. If you practice pushing into work, you're probably going to go home and, and practice investing into your children, your wife, your kids, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever's important to you. Okay? So we're deciding what is the great separator from us all. It's this right here, how to wake up every single day and be better than yesterday. It's how that you can make your company a better version. And lastly, how can we create a better team this week than we had last week okay raise your hand right now if you're not too good to change raise your hand right now if you have the growth mindset and I don't care who's looking at you I know I know you got your buddy next to you right and you know what I mean if you don't raise your hand you know you're not raising your hand right here's what I'm gonna tell you in three years from now you guys probably won't be sitting next to each other anymore okay all right and you're still gonna have to take care of your family and this company's still relying on you listen to me make decisions for yourself what's the great separator how do you get to where you want to go it's by deciding to be a contributor bring it guys every single one of you has more inside of you that you haven't brought to this company more inside of you that you haven't brought to yourself and it's time so this is the goal the goal is it's about how to outdo ourselves every day period so I want you to make one commitment it's for today to do better than you did yesterday and then in tomorrow when tomorrow gets here if God wakes us up we're alive we're gonna do better tomorrow than we did today and we are gonna run this way and guys we will look up at the end of September and you guys will have tripled your skill and you didn't chase being the best you didn't chase beating Tommy you didn't chase you know crushing your competition you chase getting better which you guys can all do Would everybody agree all we got to do is manage ourselves. And if we all manage ourselves, dude, what would happen to us as a company? It's over. Lastly, I want to share the second part. Reasons will change your whole life. Okay? This, this is why when I talk, you guys wonder, like, dude, is he, is he on crack? Why is he so fired up? You know I'm fired up? Because I'm fighting for my family. I got three kids. I got a six-year-old, a nine-year-old, and an 11-year-old at home. Okay? I want to fight for them. I grew up with five brothers and sisters in a broke, broke home. Mom left when I was two. They, they didn't care. I'm going to be a great parent to my kids. My kids are going to watch dad fight, and they're going to watch me fight for my wife. 
I'm not going to have all those problems. I'm going to be the example. I'm going to set the standard. I have reasons. I have moral reasons. I have reasons inside of myself. There was times I didn't like myself. I'm going to prove myself now. I want to fight for me, fight for my family. And write this down. Don't sell your will to win. Do not sell. Don't sell it. Listen to me. A lot of people sell it, okay? And, and listen to me. They don't have this passion anymore. They don't care. Look, dude, what's the most important thing to you in your life? Right now, write it down. Most important. If Guys, this isn't participation. This is your life. Whether you write something down on that piece of paper or not, it doesn't affect my life. It affects your life. Write down right now. If you lost one thing in your life, one thing, what would change everything forever? If Preston, if you lost your children, you would never be the same man again. Ever. Ever. So what's the reason? Why would you stay crazy? Why would you not stop? Why would you take September and go all in? It's because of your why. And no one else can make your why but you. This is something inside that has to stir you up. My stomach, it's turning. Guys, I hired a guy one time. Listen to me. The most successful salesperson I know in my life today was making $200 a week digging ditches. Digging ditches. And he showed up and he was unqualified in every area. Past drug addict, right? I'm just giving an example. Carhartt coat, hairy face, just sweating everywhere. Seemed like he wasn't going to show up on time. He goes, dude, I've been digging ditches all day. I've been digging ditches all for, for, for years now. He goes, listen, man, I want to go home and shave all this off. I want to get a haircut. I want to go buy a dress shirt. I want to come in here and I want to give my kids and my family and my wife a new way. I want to I want to make it. And you know what? I saw this fire in this guy's eyes, man. Like, dude, they're on fire. And I said, oh my gosh, man, the most unqualified guy's got the biggest fire in his belly. And I gave this guy a chance. Dude, listen to me. It took him 90 days to kind of get it, right? But he was trying his hardest. The guy was selling 50, 60 cars a month. Guys, I'm telling you right now, you have no idea what you're capable of when you find your why. Well, you made it till the end of the video. You're a true one percenter. I've already got your next training video lined up and ready to go. Click on it. Before you do that, like the video, subscribe, make sure you set your notifications. Every single day I drop out free, F-R-E-E, -E, free training videos for you. Click on the next video. And by the way, if you loved it, share it with a friend. Do that for me. Thank you so much. Let's kill it.